And a very important reminder, and that reminder is about the fact, the inevitable fact, that we are all going to die. But what really matters is how did my life and your life end? So, is there any indications, are there any signs that will mean that this person had a good end? And the answer is yes. What does a good end mean? A good end means that someone died in a state that is pleasing to Allah Azza wa Jal. The ulama have derived from the Quran and from the Sunnah few signs we will be discussing today insha'Allah ta'ala. The first sign, uttering the shahada. If somebody's last words are la ilaha illallah, Muhammadun Rasulullah, that's an amazing sign that this person died on a good end. What's the evidence? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he told us in the hadith, whomsoever his last words are la ilaha illallah, he will enter paradise. Second sign, dying with sweat on the forehead. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said the believer dies with sweat on his forehead. So that's an indication that this person who died is a believer. Alhamdulillah, and that's a great good sign. Third, dying on the night or the day of Jumu'ah, of Friday. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said there's no Muslim who dies on the day of Friday or on the night of Friday, except he will be protected from the trial of the grave. Allahu Akbar. Anybody dies on that day, inshallah, that is a good sign. Dying as a fighter for the sake of Allah. Somebody went to jihad, to jihad to fight for the sake of Allah, and then he died. He will be considered a shaheed. And if somebody died as a shaheed, that's an amazing sign of a good end. Dying with the plague. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that whomsoever die with that disease, he's considered a shaheed. So uh, anybody dying with the plague is a, uh, is a shaheed and dying as a shaheed is a sign of a good end. And there are few other people who if they died in those states that we will mention, they would be considered also shaheed and that's a good end. Dying in a stomach disease. Somebody died from uh, cancer in their stomach. Somebody died with a, a major infection in their stomach. Huh? That is also considered a shaheed and that's a good end. Dying because being crushed by a falling wall. Somebody, uh, a building fell on somebody, a wall fell on someone and caused his death or caused her death. That's also a shaheed and that's a good end. And, or it could be an earthquake that hit a city or a town and that caused a, per, a person dying. Insha'Allah ta'ala, that will be considered a shaheed. This one is specifically for my sister. If a woman dies while she's pregnant or while she's delivering, she will be considered a shaheed. Allahu Akbar. And that's a good end. Number nine, defending, dying while you're defending your deen or defending your uh, wealth or defending your life. That will be considered also a shaheed and that's a sign of, of a good end. The last one is dying while doing a righteous deed. Somebody died while there in sujood. Somebody died while they were fasting. Somebody died while they were giving charity. Somebody died while they are reading Quran. All these are great signs of a good end. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, when Allah wills good for someone, he uses him. So the Sahaba said, what does he uses him mean, Ya, ya Rasulullah? He said, he guides him to something good and then he takes his life. Subhanallah. So we see some people that they were sinning uh, all their life and then the last month or the last year or the last period before they die, they became righteous, they became people of the Quran. They, that's a great sign, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. They repented and they start practicing uh, good amal. That's a great sign of a good end, Subhanallah. These are all good signs of a good end. And these signs are just signs that give us hope, insha'Allah ta'ala, that this person will be from the people of Jannah. 
my brothers and sisters, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant me and you a good end.